Red Panda is an alternative solution for Apache Kafka. You can take your Kafka client, both producers and consumers, or your Kafka streams applications, or your Kafka connectors that previously used and directly plug them into Red Panda cluster. Red Panda is known for its performance and faster tail latency. And it was implemented in a completely different architecture with C++, where it has more control over memory management and access to lower level features. One of the design decisions that sets Red Panda apart is the use of Threadpicore architecture, and here's why. First, let's take a look at how our computer works. In short, the applications or programs, when they're being used, are loaded into memories and being turned into processes and thread, depending on how it's written. And the CPU executes this process by fetching it from memory and perform an operation on it. A CPU has multiple cores to enable more efficient simultaneous processing of multiple tasks, like parallel processing. The processes were scheduled to be run by a core according to its mode. The state of the processes when not being executed were stored back into the memories. For I.O. intensive workloads like streaming data platform, it focuses on effectively store and retrieve data from disks. I'm going to let you try it and guess. Out of the three main components, between CPU, memory, and disks, which is likely to become the performance bottleneck today. If you think that's a disk, think again. The thing that causes performance and latency problem for disks is the bandwidth. The traditional disk spinning limits how fast we can write with the introductions of SSD that significantly reduce the actual physical search of where the data is located by persisting it in a flash memory. And the new NVMe storage protocol now made it even faster and enhanced CPU utilization. That means disks are no longer the limits. So the more time your CPU spend on actual working on the workload, the faster it can flush data into disks. But in common cases, the operating system with multiple cores CPU needs to make sure all programs has its own turn to be executed. Therefore, it needs to switch between processes or threads. But there's a cost for every switch. Saving the current state relating to the thread context and then loading the context of the new thread. Not only it needs to load the memory address of the related thread, but also page maps, permission bits, and etc. So different chip manufacturers and operating system can handle context switch a little bit differently and make some optimization on top of it, but the cost is still high. That is why Red Panda uses the thread per core architecture, where it would avoid context switching as much as it can. Here's a quick rough illustration of difference between thread per core and the default multi-core multi-thread architecture where it cuts down a major amount of loading time. With higher IOPS, it saves and retrieves data faster. And hence, this is shown in our performance report where it performs about 10 times faster at tail latency. And the other solutions just can't sustain the same amount of throughput with the same hardware setting. While we wait for the operating system to finish, let's take a look at the Threadpicore core architecture. Implementing it is challenging, especially at communications between cores. To maximize performances, we want to keep everything as local in the core as possible. Kafka organizes data in partitions, meaning chunks of sequential data, which makes it ideal for Threadpicore core architecture, where each core will be assigned with several partitions. When it comes down to writing and reading data from these partitions, if the core is not the so-called owner of the partitions, it will put this request into the actual owner's working queue and move on. Of course, there are other things like comprehensive data memory management, IO buffer that goes along with this architecture. We'll talk about it in another video. If you want to learn more about Threadpicore core architecture, I'm going to put more links in the resource section. Our CEO, Alex, and our colleagues has many great talks that covers these topics. I'm also going to link them down below. And last but not least, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. I'll see you in the next video.